Welcome back IGCSE students. We're carrying on today with exponential growth and decay. So we're going to be using that compound interest formula and applying it in different circumstances. The first question I have today is um, a decay question. I kind of mentioned this in the previous video. Uh, each year the value of a car decreases by 10% of its value at the beginning of that year. Paul buys a car for $30,000 and we've got to calculate the value of the car after four years. So all we do here is we chuck in our initial price. So that's like our principal, right? Then we multiply it by our rate of decrease. So it's going to be one minus 10 over um, one minus the rate over 100. And then it's going to be for the time. So in this case, that's going to look like 30,000 to 1 minus 10 over 100, all to the power of 4 years. Okay, so um, that's going to be 30,000 uh, times 0 0.9, because 1 take away 10 over 100 is 0 0.9, to the power of 7. And that means that the car is, oh wait, not 7, it's 4. Uh, read the question. Uh, so that means it's going to be $19,000. Uh, 683 cents. That's, no, $19,683. Goodness gracious me, I'm tired. Okay, moving on. Number seven, uh, we've got some bacteria. And the we've got an increase at a rate of 35% per hour. After how many hours will the number be greater than 5 million? Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to set um, our answer as 5 million. And that's going to equal our initial amount of bacteria, the P, times the rate of increase, which is 1 plus 35 over 100. And then T is our unknown. So that's what we're going to do first. And uh, what we can then do is divide both sides by 5,000. So um, it'll be, if we cross out those zeros, cross out those zeros, um, 5 million divided by 5,000 is going to be um, 5,000. Okay. Uh, 1,000, sorry. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. I am really tired. Okay. Now, um, that is going to be equal to 1 plus, or we could actually just say 1.35 now, couldn't we? 1.35 to the power of t. Now the problem is we don't know what t is. So what we can do at this point is we can use trial and error, if we want, or we can use logs. Now, um, so if we're using trial and error, we'd go, all right, 1.35, and we'll try, let's try to the power of 10. 1.35 to the power of 10, and that is equal to 20. So that's no, no good, so we need to do, maybe we'll up it to 1.35 to the power of uh, 30. Okay, so we go back, change it to 30. Um, that's way too big, because that's 8,000. And so why don't we go to 20? And that's 404, so it's somewhere between, uh, uh, it's somewhere between uh, 20 and 30. So why don't we go uh, 25? And that's 1,812. So we go 24. And that's 1,342, so we go 22. And that's 736. So it's between the 22nd and 23rd hour. Okay, so definitely after 23 hours. Now, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be to use a log. So um, with logs, uh, we know that 1.35 to the power of t equals 1,000. And so what we can do is we can go log base 1.35 of 1,000 equals to t. So on your calculator, there's a log button up the top near the on button, I think it will be. So you, in the first little square, you're going to write 1.35. Um, and in the next square, in the brackets, you're going to write 1,000. And this gives you t is equal to 230 Okay, so T is uh, just, just greater than 23 hours, so that would mean after 
we're going to go after 24 hours because it's between 23 and 24 hours according to my log here so 24 hours now let's move on to this last one here um ricardo ha having uh, 14 mice uh, four mice sorry two months ago he had four mice he's now got eight mice so it's two months ago he starts with four he now has eight assuming the number of mice increases exponentially at the rate of x percent per month Find the value of x. Okay, so what we're going to do is we know he's got 8 now, and we know that he started with 4, and we're going to use our exponential formula with a rate of uh, x over 100, and therefore, um, and to the power of 2, because he's had 2 months. I divide both sides by 4, so I get 2 is equal to 1 plus x over 100 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to square root both sides, so I should get 1 plus x over 100, and so x uh, over 100 should be equal to the square root 2 minus 1 and so x should equal to 100 uh, square root 2 minus 1 and what does this give us um, I'm getting x is 41.4 okay so that's what I'm getting 41.4 now let's chuck that into uh, part B the number of mice you will have in two months. Now that would be another two months from the beginning. So for that, I think we're going to go the initial four mice that he has, um, and then we're going to pop that 41.4. Probably use your unrounded number, I would suspect would be better here. Um, and then to the power of four months, because it's four months from the beginning. Now, when we do that, uh, what do we get? Let's have a look. Uh, four into what? Put a bracket. Four into one plus it's over one hundred to the power of four. Uh, I'm getting sixteen there. And after one year. Now is that one year from the point from the beginning or one year from the point that he's got eight mice? I'm not sure. Um, why don't we just try one year from now? which means that we've got to add on two months, so that should be uh, 14 months. So let's try that and see what we get. Hmm. Uh, 512 mice, I think. 512 mice. This sounds a little bit low. Um, 41.4. Oh, maybe it is right. Okay, um, I think that would be it. Now I'm looking at the answer in the answer book and I suspect it's wrong because it's a very, very big number. I'm not quite sure how they got that.